Hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Free Magic Live. You're with me, JJ. In today's video, I want to share something super important with you, a little bit of magic advice. Check this out. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just chilling out here on Monday. It's lunchtime in the chill zone. What do you think, Josh? Welcome to the, welcome to the chill zone in South Bank. And I wanted to make this quick video and share a little bit of advice with you. As most of you know, I get a lot of questions via emails on under the YouTube videos and especially on my Facebook page, which is facebook, facebook.com forward slash free magic live. And one of the questions I've been getting a lot recently, and it's a great question actually, and I'm surprised uh, people have brought this up. Uh, they've asked people generally, they've said, JJ, what's the difference between a magic trick and magic? Okay, so is there a difference between magic trick and just magic? And I think there is, and I, I'm gonna even sum this up a little bit better. There's a difference between being a magician and doing a magic trick, okay? Here's what I mean. A magic trick, get you to choose a card, card pops up to the top, hey, cool, look at this, that's a cool card trick, that's a trick, okay? Doing a ma being a magician, there's so many more elements of, uh, of, of what makes a trick to make it to be a, basically to, to make it into a magic show, to magic performance, okay? Now, magic, let's get real right now. Magic is not a puzzle, okay? Being a magician, it doesn't mean you're doing puzzles. And I know a lot of people are probably thinking, well, Jay, a lot of the stuff on this channel and you've taught me are probably more so tricks than magic. And you're probably right. A lot of the stuff I teach are just quick tricks, are fun tricks, are simple things that you can learn because I think we all love to do a magic trick or two. But to make it a magic performance, and this is probably for people who really want to take it to the next level or really want to know what makes a magician, is there's so many elements. And one of the elements is putting a story along with it. One of the elements is creating wonder. One of the elements is gra drawing people's attention and taking them on a journey, okay? So there's a difference between, for example, let's find these bad boys here, these cards, okay? So I have a pack of cards. Dude, Josh, you just went, whoa, did you not see the cards? No, okay, I impress you all the time too. Okay, so I've got you to, we'll pick a card, they take a card out of the deck, they place it inside. Okay, I'm gonna find your card in a really cool way, ready? But boom, okay? That's a trick, people go, that's cool, that's, that's pretty fun. Um, is that magic? Yeah, it's, it's magic in a way, but it's more so a trick. How you make that into a magic performance? Look, on the street and on uh, when you're doing street magic with people or at a party or uh, at a bar or a club or a restaurant, I'll be honest, it's a little bit more difficult to be a, it's hard to say, it's like to, to, to be that magician. And, and the reason why is this, when you go watch a show, when you go watch a, a live theater show, like let's say David Copperfield, if you've ever seen David Copperfield or if you've ever seen a live magician in a theater show, do their show, you get drawn in a lot more. You get you they, they make you they make you believe they draw you into their world because they have a lot of they have control a lot of the variables. They control the music, they control what, what you see, they control um, the dynamics of the show. They really can take you from here to here and give you the ups and downs. Now, can you do that with a street magic show? Yeah, of course you can. Okay, but there's something about being in a live theatre show. When it's dark, there's no other distractions, you're not on your phone, there's not cars going past. That magic is, I find, for me personally, that you become more of a magician, okay, in that, in that, in that, uh, in that environment. Now, can you, do, can you be a magician right now? Yes, you can, okay? But I find that it's, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult because on the street, especially, people, you have to be quick. Okay, magic is a journey. Magic doesn't, and a journey sometimes doesn't mean it's quick and fast, okay? But it does have a lot of stories. It does, as I keep saying, it entraps you. It, it brings you into this special world that there is nothing here, but if I do this and blow and open my hand and there's a coin, and there's a coin in my hand, and what is that? A coin appeared. I, I, I have no real, I, I don't know what that means. That means it must be something and it's gonna be probably gonna be magic, okay? So what I'm saying, it's important that there is a difference between a magic trick and being a magician. And perfect example, I'll show you what I mean. So, 
let's say they chose a card, okay? I say, watch this. I'm gonna snap my fingers and it's gonna come up all the way to the top. It's pretty cool, right? People are like, that's impressive. Now, let's change it up a little bit, okay? Now I'll try, I'll try do it in a magic kind of way, okay? Watch this, see, there's the king, okay? I want you to do me a favor. I want you to watch the deck right now. You're gonna see something happen. Did you see that? Now, I know a lot of people are probably thinking, well, Jay, that didn't really, wasn't much difference than what you did before. But remember, I didn't say it's gonna to come to the top, okay? Because that's sort of a puzzle, all right? Now, magic's on a puzzle, as I said. So people aren't going, okay, well, he must have slipped it to the top, okay? They don't know how it happened or how it came up to the top, but you didn't make it a, an obvious, you didn't say it's gonna come up to the top. You didn't put it into a puzzle situation. Now, I could go on, there's a lot of different ways to go on with this, but I'm just trying to keep it short and, and give you give you a different mindset about magic trick versus magic. Once again, if I had music, if there was a good story with it, um, you know, you can make it into a whole different performance. Now, something very, very important as well, you might be thinking, okay, Jay, I've got a story with my, my tricks. I'm trying to escape people's reality. I'm trying to bring them into my magic world. Are people sometimes always gonna see it as a trick? Sometimes they will, because let's be real, as any kind of human being, as most, as most people I've performed for, whether I've done something on stage or when I've seen a show or whether um, I watch a friend do a show and they're doing it, they're trying to make it, they're trying to, they're a magician and they draw people into their show. Even if you've, you've got the music and the lights and all that kind of crazy stuff, right? Still people, when they see that ball appear, even if you have got an amazing story with it and you talk about how, you know, in, in 1600 there was this um, uh, magician who was a witch named whatever, and she snapped her fingers and then she can make things appear and things start appearing on stage. Still people do this. How did he pick that? How did he do that? He must have snuck it in because to them, they can't figure it out. So to them, it's like a puzzle. So hopefully you understand what I'm tr trying to say. Like there's a difference between a magic trick and being a magician. And it's just about understanding what magic is. And remember most of the time what magic means to you. For me, it means escape of their reality. It's creating wonder uh, and, and, it's, um, and it's an experience. It's something that they can't explain. So that's it. Guys, if you like that, tell me what you think below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Also subscribe right down here, which gives you VIP access for more tips, for more tricks, for more cool videos. And that's it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.